President, Global Chevrolet Marketing, Chris Perry. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. What a great day it is in Las Vegas. Now, as always, Chevrolet saves its best performance news of the year for our annual SEMA press event. And we have plenty to cover for you today. Today, you will see the broadest ever range of performance and personalization vehicles that we've ever shown at SEMA. And we arrived at SEMA with a lot of momentum. Currently, we're the fourth largest automotive brand in the world. To put it in perspective, a new Chevrolet is sold every 6.4 seconds somewhere in the world. We are headed toward another record sales year, surpassing our previous global record of 4.7 million units that we, that we achieved last year in our centennial year. Currently, we're sold in over 140 countries, with 60% of our sales coming from outside the U.S. Now, when it comes to performance cars, Chevrolet sets the standard in sales and performance, with both Camaro and Corvette remaining number one in their segments for 2012. Now, when you're hot, you stay hot, right? Now, Chevrolet will introduce 13 new products in the next 15 months. We're calling it 13 in 13. And these products, cars, trucks, and crossovers, represent nearly 70% of our retail sales. And as you know, that total also includes the seventh generation Corvette, which we, re we will reveal January 13, 2013, as part of our event at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. But let's stay focused on SEMA for now. Now right now, small cars are hot. Our small car sales were up 40% in September, thank you to great models like the Spark, the Spark, uh, Spark and Sonic, and of course, Cruise, which finished number one in its segment in August and September. Now, as a result, nearly 60% of the concepts we brought here to SEMA are smaller cars. Now, our younger buyers love them simply because they're so fun to personalize. Now, we use SEMA as a test track to gauge customers' reaction to our concepts and determine if they should become production reality. Now, production reality, that's a phrase you can hear a lot from us today because it's an example of what we use to find out how we should go forward with these vehicles. Now, the first example we have is the Sonic Dusk. We brought the Sonic Dusk with us last year and the reaction was overwhelming. So Sonic Dusk arrives in showrooms next year. It's a classy step up in small cars with a unique ash and gray paint treatment, plus 18 inch aluminum wheels, special ground effects, a unique front splitter treatment, and a special interior. Now we will, now some of these concepts we're showing today could potentially reach production. So we're paying close attention to your feedback and opinions on all the vehicles we're showing today. Now this one over here is one of our wilder concepts. Now you, may, you may remember the sonic boom from last year with its amazing audio system. This is the MTV Spark. This vehicle ties into the Chevrolet MTV Cover the World promotion, where people can record themselves singing cover songs performed by several up-and-coming bands, then upload it to the CoverTheWorld.com website. Fans then vote on their favorite and the grand prize winner will receive a specially wrapped Spark. Now the Spark is a karaoke machine on wheels. It's equipped with a mobile DJ system that features a 4,000 watt audio system, 22 speakers, and to keep track of the lyrics, a 32 inch LCD monitor. Now you gotta try it out for yourself later on today. Now, this pink one over here. This continues our proud association with the American Cancer Society and their annual walk called Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Now over the last two years, we've had over 800 of our dealers participate in this event, raising almost $2 million. Now this is the Pink Out Spark that will travel the country to promote, to promote and reinforce this effort. It features our production Techno Pink Paint, treatment with American Cancer Society graphics, and other Chevrolet accessories, including an outstanding pink interior that you gotta go look at. It's, wor it's a worthy cause, it's a worthy tribute to a very worthy cause. Now, Spark also likes to have fun. Witness the Color Run vehicle. This is the official vehicle of this event. These are 5K events where runners are pelted, pelted while they're running with dyed cornstarch. Now, the head of the pack, this spark looks like it's already been pelted, of course, with splashes of expressive colors from our production palette, along with, as you notice, custom graphics. No wonder they call this event the happiest race on the earth. 
Next is the Spark Z-Spec concept. It combines our salsa red production color and several accessories to create a small car with a hot attitude. Ground effects, special grill and body graphics complete this entire package. Now, we go from fun and colorful to mean and menacing. This vehicle right over here, meet the sinister concept, the dark side of Spark. It features customized body panels and paint, unique fascias, flares, hood and grill, among other special components. It's a wild ride for the city. Now for small car buyers who want more refined experience, meet the cruise upscale concept, right over there. This is truly the class of compact cars, featuring a burnished brand in metallic paint, plus 19 inch custom wheels and a fantastic leather interior. Now be sure to check this one out and let us know what you think. Because like I mentioned, some of these concepts can someday become production vehicles. Now, what if we wanted to push the performance envelope in mid-sized cars? The result will be the new Malibu performance concept. It starts with our production turbo engine, then we add 20 inch wheels, P255 tires, and race inspired chassis. It also includes concept Chevrolet performance, performance components, such as performance kit and turbo stage kit. Inside, drivers take command with the Recaro sports seats designed for more aggressive driving experience. And of course, you can't overlook a fantastic silk metallic blue finish on the paint. Again, take a look at this one and let us know what you think. Now, this one isn't even a concept, but it's a welcome addition to the Chevrolet lineup. In just a few months, we begin production of our all-new 10th generation of Impala. Now, we wanted to give you a first-hand look at this great vehicle with its sculpted, aggressive looks and a direct injection V6 that features 305 horsepower. And the interior on this one is gorgeous. Again, do yourself a favor and check out this vehicle. The bottom line, Chevrolet's best-selling full-size car just got better in every single way. Now, as that vehicle arrives, another old friend departs. We created a final tribute to the 12-year run of our ultimate utility vehicle with this Avalanche concept. Now, as we all know, on the ski mountain, the expert runs are called Black Diamond. And this Black Diamond Edition Avalanche ski concept is made to accommodate every skier's needs and wants. It features a white diamond exterior paint treatment, special 22-inch wheels, and a Chevrolet licensed accessory ski and snowboard carrier. And we believe it is a terrific send-off to a fantastic vehicle. Now, this next vehicle is the Corvette 427 convertible. But there's a lot more to the story. We've cooked up a performance legend with the help of a world-renowned chef and TV star who owns a collection of Chevrolets all his own has been really a Chevy car guy. Now down by the 427, if you turn around, let me introduce and say hello to Guy Pierre. Where's Guy? Thanks, Chris, right here, man. Hey, Guy. Hey, tell so, us about this vehicle you have. Well, I'll tell you, the only thing that's wrong with this car is that it's not at my house right now. That's the only thing I have a concern with, and I haven't been able to rip it down in Las Vegas Strip. What we're talking about here is the first time that we popped a 427 into a convertible. And of course, it would be done up with my logos and my style. I got together with the design team. They threw ideas. I threw ideas. And a lot of them stuck. Now, most of my cars at home in California are yellow. But I couldn't have this car compete, so we went black with the yellow stripes. Um, and, and the stripes running all the way through. But the real key to this is the 427. We're talking 505 horsepower, a 7 liter, all aluminum engine. And you want to talk about a monster. This thing has got so much torque. And the reason this hasn't been done before is because of the torque. So they did a, this is kind of like a composite between the Z06, the ZR1, and the convertible, and look at it. I mean, we've got the Z06 brakes, we've got the big monster motor, and then the guys in the design team, can you just give me some more yellow pinstriping throughout the leather seats? Then we marked it up with a little bit of my tattoo artwork. I, the, the knuckle sandwich is my uh, is my sign for my culinary team. They put it in the headrest, they put it on the side of the car, and like I said, the only problem we have is that we're not all taking joy rides in this and doing power burnouts. Oh, and it does have a, uh, it, it does have a, a launch, it does have a launch program in it. Six speed launch, 550 hours. They should come with three tires. Hey guy, now what happens with this vehicle? Oh, thank you, Chris, because I'll just keep babbling on about it. Go for it. Let me. 
Well, here's the great thing about this. When Chevy offered, uh, what it all it was inspired by the Indy 500. I was driving the pace car, which is a you know, real tough job to do, three days of training, and Johnny Rutherford, 165 miles an hour. And I said, man, I'd really love to get that kind of motor, but I'd like to get it in a convertible. And they kind of giggled and laughed, but called the next week and said, we have an idea. They said, we're going to build you this car back, but we're not going to give it to you. We're going to take it. We're going to auction it off of Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale in January. And I said, oh, I'm down with that. And they said, well, what we'd really like to do is we'd like to give them, give the money that we raised from the auction to your foundation. My foundation's called Guy Fieri Foundation, Seed of UK, Cooking with Kids, Empowering Kids Through Food. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to auction it off in January. All the proceeds go into CWK, and you guys got to love Chevy, man. Hey, thank you, Guy. Thank you for your participation and your support. Thanks for having me, Chris. Thank you for driving you that Corvette of the Indy 500 with us. You said if I showed up this morning that I got to drive it off the show real far. Yeah, I lied. Thanks a lot. That's I lied. Okay, now we have a lot more great vehicles to show to walk you through and give you a deeper dive into Chevy performance. So for that, I'm going to introduce Jim Campbell, Vice President of Performance Park. Hey, Chris. Hello. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, Guy, great job on uh, driving the uh, ZR1 at the Indy 500, and that car is awesome. You just did there. You're going to raise a lot of money for a great cause. Well, our designers and engineers have been working hard to develop a complete lineup of performance and personalization concepts for Chevy. There's no doubt that efforts have extended from Spark and Sonic and Cruise, of course, to Camaro, Corvette, literally the full lineup. But today, our goal is to demonstrate how we offer more parts and accessories than anyone in the aftermarket. That all begins with this formula: SEMA and Chevrolet equals performance. It's been true since 1967, and it will continue to be true long into the future. There's no doubt about that. Now, take the small block V8 as an example. We introduced it in 1955. It's been one of the most popular engines in history. Last year, we built our 100 millionth small block, and today the small block continues to be the heart and soul of Corvette. Now, as we announced last week in Detroit, the heart and soul in Dirge. The Gen 5 small block V8 will launch next year with a 7th generation Corvette, and it's the most significant redesign of the small block in almost our six-year history. Now, this 2014 Corvette LT1 starts with a race-proven 6.2-liter uh, aluminum V8, it's lightweight, then we add several firsts to Corvette, direct injection, active fuel management, variable valve timing, it's achieving greater performance and efficiency. What a great combination. Now the LT1 generates an estimated 450 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds of torque. Look, look at this, 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds. It will be the quickest standard Corvette we've ever built. That will also be the most fuel efficient ever, expecting around 26 miles per gallon. It's really the ultimate blend of power, efficiency, and durability. The hallmarks of the small block V8. Now during the last two years, we've had our performance build experts demonstrate how they build the Corvette engines right here on the SEMA floor, and it's been a very, very popular demo. This year we're back in an even bigger way with what we call the Chevrolet Garage. It's right around the corner here. Four bays with our performance experts who are gonna inter interact face-to-face -face with SEMA buyers explaining how our